in today's digital landscape. Animation is just a, like a must have now. Everyone's using it, whether that be on websites, videos, um, even even micro interactions on uh, when you're scrolling through a website or just uh, hovering over a button on a website. Let's be honest, we, we don't have a lot of time to learn complex animation software. For some projects, um, complex software is needed, but for other or most projects, um, we could use simpler software. And this video is going to be discussing one of them, which is jitter.video. Um, it's a, it's a rather simple tool. We'll be animating a logo just to show you like how much motion can, can actually add a lot of life to a still image or a, or a logo in this case. And for whoever sticks to the end of the video, I have something really special towards the end of the video. So please watch it towards the end. But for now, let's jump right in. All right, so here I'm starting inside of Figma. You can definitely start within Jitter, but I kind of like um, utilizing the plugin. So if I head into my Jitter animation for Figma plugin, it should open up. There you go. And then it asks, it's asking me to select a frame and it's going to do the, the import for me. So I just click on copy. I wait for a bit. And then I open in Jitter. So it's going to do some loading and then it's going to just create everything for me on Jitter. So this is why I really love starting in Figma. And then what I could do is I could start animating right away. You could, you could, um, you could really just select one of these uh, presets and they have they have a, they have a lot of presets here so it's really good you can you can control the duration down here so i'll just give you like a brief just a brief overview of how the ui looks like you can skip this part if you are familiar with uh, with jitter if you also select something that's a bit more complex like move and scale in so you could see it's sliding in from the bottom and then um it's scaling in and you could actually convert this to actions where you could see the keyframes for every specific thing. So as you can see at first, it, there's the, so let's just, so at first you can see there's the opacity keyframe, which is from zero to hundred percent. So it's basically going from zero opacity to hundred percent. And then this is the move uh, keyframe where it's moving, um, you can say it says here move y 24 so this means it's moving from 24 to zero um and that's that means it's moving 24 pixels up i'm really sorry by the way there are there's a lot of uh motorbike noises in the background but um yeah and then there's the move and then there's the scale so this is another keyframe where it's uh, it's the initial value is 121% scale and then it's it's going to a 0% duration. Uh, I mean uh, to a to a 100% scale, right? So you can see and you can you can manipulate this. You can you can say 150 um, to let's say 30. And then it's a bit of a dramatic decrease, but you understand what I'm trying to say here. Really quick, sorry not to bother you, but if you find this content helpful, maybe maybe leave a like or a subscribe or a follow if you're on uh, X. Thank you. So I don't want any of this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna delete this for now because I wanna I wanna create something from scratch, something um, that fits my vision, and I'll go ahead and ungroup this first, and then I wanna. I want to just create like a guide here. I'm, I'm, I don't think there is guides right now. Um, maybe they're going to add this later, but I just use just a random uh, rectangle for now, just, just so I can see where the final position. I'll call this guide for logo mark. Okay, we'll delete this later. And I'm going to give this an opacity of 10. 
and I'm going to lock this. Okay. Um, I'm also going to hide the text for now and I'm going to select the icon mark and I'm going to go into animate. Actually, I'm going to go into design first and just center this to the middle of my composition. And here, um, I want to, I want to create an animation first where let's also hide the outline. Um, where I'm animating this star. So I'll animate it. I'll slide in a direction from bottom to top and I'll give this, let's say 400 pixels, 400 pixels. Oh, weird. 300. Okay. 300 is fine. Um, and then I'll go something like this. Um, for the transition, I'll go for smooth. I usually like to go for smooth or natural. By the way, you can even control how dramatic this the, the smoothness is. Um, I'll keep it back at the way it is. And then um, that keyframe is done. I can I can go ahead and add a new animation. And for this one, I'm just going to go for a custom animation. And I'm going to select scale. I'm going to go from 0% to 100% scale. And I'm going to start it with this right so now we have something like this oh something something's weird is going on right hmm all right let's just delete this for now and let's just add an animation where I'm just saying move and then I'm just going to say moving by 400. Oops. I don't mean X. I mean Y. So 400 Y. Okay. So actually I should start with 400 and then go to zero or maybe 400 is a bit too much. So I'll just stick to 300. Yep. Perfect. Um, we could try something else. Smooth. What about this? Yeah, I th think I think I can go for a smooth and slow down. Yeah, we can even we can even add a bit of rotation. We can have fun here. So I'll just I'll just rotate. Um, I guess not too. It's from, let's say ninety. How does that look? Oh, nice. Um, maybe we could do 240. Mm, a bit too much, I, I guess. No, I guess let's do 60. You can see like there's a bit of, of trial and error until we figure something that we're happy with, but that's fine. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I want to animate the outline. So I want to have a new animation, a custom animation where I'm scaling this from, from zero to a hundred. Um, and it could be, it could be here. Right. And we could even add another animation where I'm rotating this from, from let's say 80 to zero and let's do negative 80 because we've done negative 80 is basically going to rotate rotate it from the other side so something like this maybe we can, we can go for something a bit dramatic okay nice perfect so we already have something really cool going on right now um so first just to recap i've selected the star i've added some animations and then selected the outline, I've added animations right towards where the, the middle of the animation of the star. And then what I can do now is I can go ahead and select the effect icon mark group, which is the whole group. And then I can add an animation to that. So you can, so you can basically animate the individual layers or you can animate the whole group. And then I have, I have this right now where I can go ahead and move this um, to my original guide location. And 
you see now why having the guide at first was important because now I know where exactly to move it. And yeah, so this is perfect. We can uh, we can really start the moving um, as we're animating the outline out. We could do. Yeah, let's do smooth. What happens if we increase this? Oh, okay. So it's a bit more snappy, which is great. Um, we can get rid of this guide now. And we can start animating the text. So the idea is I want, I want each of these to start animating, sliding in from the bottom. I could do 200 and I could do slow down. Here, yes. Uh, maybe 200 is a bit too much. Let's do 100. And right here is where I want my E to st start. Just so it's it's not overlapping. It just feels like the <laughs> the icon is almost revealing my uh, my letters. And what's nice here is I can copy. I can copy this. Um, the effect on E and I can select all of my layers and I can press control V and now all of my letters have the same effect, the same duration, same easing, same everything. So you can see and now the whole, the whole word is animating, which is, which is not what I want. I want sort of a stagger effect. So I'm just going to roughly stagger them. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Now we need to just to make it a bit faster. Perfect. We can even just another really good thing you could do is group this. And now you can control how fast um, the animation is. Perfect. We can uh, we can do something like this. Yeah. Nice. So. So now we have we have the star coming in. Um. Yeah, I, I kind of want the scale to be, to accelerate maybe, or maybe smooth. Yeah, I think this is better. Perfect. Now what we can do is, I mean, this looks really good the way it is, if I say so myself. Um, but we could take this a step, a step further and what we can do is we can add a bit of glow. So. I guess here we need to go back to the design and within this group, what I can do is I can add, um, I'll call this, what can I call this? Glow. Okay. And I will select the color to be the same, my yellow color. It is now my color <laughs> just because I use it as my color now. Very nice. Um, and Jitter just added something that's really cool. You can now blur. You can control the radius. So if I go something like 200, I have this really nice glow effect now. I'm just going to center it. And now when what I can do is I can just look, look how clean this looks. Um, and it's very simple. I can fade this in and I can fade it in from, from when the logo starts. Yeah. All right. Um, let's decrease the opacity a bit. Just so it's not too much. Perfect. We have a logo animation that's 
that we we've done in almost 10-15 uh, minutes and it looks really good as well so you could you could go ahead and add some some sound effects you can get some from uh, pixabay or or a youtube library or something and just add like swoosh effects and uh, just take this a bit further but we're gonna stop here yeah and that's pretty much it um uh, it didn't take long um, as you could see we could get something um done pretty quick and you you could see how much motion just added a lot of life to uh to a, to a logo right so you could imagine the possibilities um, if you're animating a like a video for a product or just telling a specific story with animation so yeah use cases way too much um now for whoever uh, stuck towards the end of the video uh, this is going to be an announcement i am going live with effect.community and it's it's live on my website right now where it's it's going to be on discord you could you could join it right now for free um and you would get the premium uh status where we have uh, like a, a premium channel and you'd have access to all of these premium content in the future um, maybe templates for like uh, framer templates or jitter.video templates after effects templates um, we're gonna do a bit of coding in the future as well so all the source code um, access to the github source code access to um, um, anything that you see on these videos will be um, will be something that goes for the premium users uh, on the discord channel so you could go right now to effect.design scroll to the community section um, and, and just join it for free it's not going to be for long so uh, make use of it as it lasts and uh, yeah if, if you thought this video was helpful definitely leave a, a subscribe or a like um, or a retweet uh, if you're on uh, x thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one